for winter savings guaranteed to blow you away. Woohoo! Don't miss the Blizzard of Savings event at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall with super cool markdowns on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, or Ram. Like new 2018 Jeep Compass Latitudes, just $169 a month. Or new 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Quad Cabs, just $229 a month. Plus the credit help you need and $1,500 over book value for any trade. Big savings are smooth sailing at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Route 23 in Sussex. Start something new event. We go to High Point High School for this Freedom Division clash. And High Point takes the early 3-0 lead over the Vernon. Watch Luke Steinman pop the corner three, and the Wildcats are up early. The Wildcats make it 7-0 here. Watch Luke Steinman drain another three for the Wildcats as they are off to the fast start. Vernon finally gets its first points with 155 to go in the quarter. Watch senior Alex Huey knock down the tray to cut High Point's lead to 11-3 over the Vikings. Now watch High Point get the ball inside to Ty Tabito, who powers up and goes glass to push the Wildcats lead to 15-3. Then it's High Point on the run out, and it's Jake Luzinski to Landis French, who has the nice up and under finish here, and it's 17-3 Wildcats, as they would take a 17-7 lead after one quarter. Second quarter we go, and Vernon comes out strong and on the run. Watch Andre Pierce with the putback, and the foul, and Vernon's down by 7, 19-12. The Vikes make it 21-16 here as Alex Hewley knocks down the median range jumper, and it's a five-point game as Vernon would cut high points lead to 21-17 at the half. Okay, early third quarter, Vernon's in the middle of a 9-2 run bridging the halves, and off the inbounds, Paul McVay finds Alex Hewley, and he's fouled, and Vernon makes it a two-point game, 21-19 after trailing by 14. But High Point has an answer, and in a big way, as the Wildcats go on a 9-0 tear, capped here by Luke Steinman's third triple of the night, and a 30-19 High Point, forcing a Vernon timeout. The run goes to 13 straight unanswered points here, but Jason Make is with the steal, and the easy lay-in, and it's 34-19 High Point. Then it's Luke Steinman again with his fourth bucket from beyond the arc, and High Point pulling away with a commanding 16-point lead, 37-21. Vernon does cut into High Point's lead here with this three from Andre Pierce, but High Point has a 37-24 lead through three quarters. We move the fourth quarter action, and it's Jake Luzinski with the rebound, and he takes off, and he gets it to go, and High Point is up 41-25. Now watch Will McCotter with a nice look to Andre Pierce, who goes glass, but Vernon still trails by 14 to the Wildcats. And then Luke Steinman, who finished with a game-high 14 points, takes the kick from Travis Talame, and he hits the elbow jumper, as High Point win its second Freedom Division game of the season, with a 43-27 victory. We really think it's a good win coming off uh, two losses to Kinoan and Waco. We were, we were really not playing like the way we should have been. And uh, our focus was today to just come out and just uh, play like we know how to play. And uh, I think we did that today. I think it's a big division win, a big win in general. We came off two pretty rough losses, but I think tonight we came out, executed, we focused, and we played as a team like how we should. I thought it was a big win, definitely. Uh, big recovery game from the Walkout tournament after getting blown out twice by Walkout and Kinelon. Uh We came in with our game faces on. We know we knew it was a big game. We knew we had to get the job done. And that's what we did. It's always a battle when you play Vernon. You know, it's close close by, about you know 15 minutes up the road. Um, we came out great tonight. Uh, we shot the ball great. Um, we kind of went a little funk there in the second quarter, but the kids responded well after halftime. So really happy with that. Give Vernon a ton of credit. They were down 14 at one point, and then early in the third quarter had a chance to cut it to one. But High Point responded with a 9-0 run, forcing a Vernon timeout, and eventually turned into a 6-2, 16-2 run, and that kind of put the game away for the Wildcats. Just like uh, our first game against Tech, we were ahead big in the first quarter. They came back, and it ended up being a really close game, like double overtime. So we were really focusing now on finishing the game and finishing like every like series on defense. And so when they went down there and they responded, we uh, wanted to make sure we responded, and we responded in a big way, so that really helped us. I think it was just we executed and we had faith in each other. We passed the ball around. We looked for open shots. We didn't 
we didn't let it rattle us, and I think that's what ended up just the confidence in each other was what led us to that run. I kind of challenged the guys a little bit to uh, show some focus in the second half um, and some toughness um, and to, to make a good basketball plays and better decisions. Um, and they really did respond. They played great defense. They got stops. Um, and then kind of your defense fuels your offense. When you get stops on the defensive end, right, things start to just flow a little bit better and work better on offense. So credit to those guys. During that run, Luke Steinman hit a huck. During that run, Luke Steinman hit a couple of big threes for the Wildcats. I was just trying to, you know, get our team back into the game. I try to do my best to make sure that I put my team ahead. Uh, I want my teammates to succeed as much as I want to succeed. High Point also played great team defense tonight and held Vernon to just 27 points. Team defense was very great today. Uh, usually our defense isn't, it's a little slow. You know, we're not always uh, in position well, but tonight we just, it was great, good defense. That's something you can bring every night is your defense. Um, you might miss shots, but um, defense is about effort and it's about toughness. Um, and it's about having that mentality uh, of wanting to get stops. So we're, we're working on that and it was good to see it tonight. Jack DeGroote graduated. He's at Marywood playing well. You can count on him for over 20 points a game. Well, this year the Wildcats have to be more balanced and that's exactly the way they played tonight and it ended up with a victory. I think if we're a balanced team, we can really beat anybody. I think we have the players to do it and we all have confidence in each other. If you have the open shot, shoot it. And we're, we're looking for each other. No man's selfish. It's still be tough for us because, you know, last year we just had Jack usually scoring for us. But now it's more of a team effort and we have to get a lot more ball movement going around so we can create more open shots for us. We've been talking about that a lot with the guys through the preseason, that we're not going to be the same team. It's a new year. Um, and we're kind of excited about being more balanced um, and having different people that can step up on a given night. Um, it makes us, you know, having Jack was great, but the other teams really loaded up to stop him, and sometimes we got frustrated with that. So um, to be able to just play as a team and move the ball um, and see, you know, we have other guys too that didn't score tonight that some games down the line, they're gonna, they're gonna have to step up and they're gonna be ready to, uh, to do it when they have a chance. High point after a tough tournament over at Walk Hill Valley, losing to the Rangers and losing to Kinelon, sitting at three and three right now, and more importantly, two and zero in the Freedom Division, and they're hoping to continue to improve. We're really excited for our division. Uh, we're two and zero right now. We're really focusing on those division games. Uh, I know Hackettstown's one, and that's a big one. We got to win if we want to be able to clinch it. And uh, we're just taking one game at a time right now. So I think three and three's a good spot. We obviously thought we could have done better. Um, two and zero in the division is great. We're happy about that. We just got to take it one game at a time, and we'll keep rolling. We're most likely worried about the division games because, well, especially me because that's what all I'm focused on. But especially like all the other games, we got to win. But the big games like Hackistown and all those teams, you really got to win. It's good. it's good to get back to 500. Uh, we weren't happy with the way that we played in our holiday tournament. Um, so to come back after some snow and some days off and, and finally get back in a regular routine uh, and some division play, we're, we're excited about that.